Nickelodeon. Enjoy! Great. Now I'm jealous of a lizard. That's a nice creature you got there. He's Seth's. Well, mine and Seth's, really. He's like our little love child. Mm, aren't you? Moving on. You want to maybe skate around, catch a movie later? Well, Seth's out of town, so I have him for the weekend. He gets really depressed when Seth leaves him alone. How can you tell? And now my mom is saying I can't have him here. He creeps her out. Can you believe that? This is the 21st century, and people are still prejudiced against reptiles. Just because he has scales and not fur doesn't make him any less of a pet. Yeah. He obviously has a lot of love to give. Maybe I could get Kaniki to take him for the night. Oh, Kaniki? You can't have Kaniki looking after your baby. He'll probably step on him. Or lose him. I, on the other hand, share your love of scaly things. You know, it's amazing how much we have in common. Oh, my God, Tucker. I love you. Take him home and acquaint him with his new environment, and I'll go get his things ready. I really appreciate this. Soon, she'll be thinking of Mr. Ugly here as our love child. Could you do your sewing later? I want to take a nap. Ah! Oh! Quick, describe the looks on your faces. I know it looks like I'm looking at you, but I can't really see like this. Our faces are a portrait of pure terror. Cool. Where do we keep the stuff that gets off crazy glue? Uh, Leon, we don't have anything like that. Don't you remember the last time you did this? Oh, right. No biggie. Claire? Do you worry about Leon's development? Oh, are you kidding? He's grown six inches in the last six months. No, I, I mean his... Oh. I'm okay. ...mental development. Are you calling my son a... No, I'm not. I'm just saying that sometimes it seems like he's kind of afraid of growing up. I mean, he's almost 16 and he still chops off people's hair and keeps it in jars. I'm not sure that's normal. There is nothing wrong with having a hobby. And just because he doesn't run around thinking he's smarter than everyone else, like your son, doesn't mean... You know what, Claire? You're absolutely right. Children progress at their own rate. It is wrong to push them. I'm saying I'm wrong, and you're right. I, I spoke without thinking. I'm sorry. Leon is a great kid. There is absolutely nothing wrong with him. Do you want your eyes back? They got a little bit of skin on them. Uh, no, Pumpkin, that's okay. You can keep them. Sweet! Leon, close the door. Does my mom know you have that? Of course not. Because she won't allow us to have any pet, ever. I know. That's such a rule right there. Get a hold of yourself. This isn't a pet. This is a device. Its sole purpose is to bring McKenna and me closer together. What's his name? Hell if I know. <laughs> it's not like it matters. Here, check this out. Fluffy. Rover. Seth Jr. Come here, boy. See? Useless. I think he's cool. Why am I not surprised? Look, I'm gonna go get the rest of its stuff. If anyone comes in, hide it. Uh-huh. Okay. What's your name, boy? What's your name? Completely housebroken. Seth taught him to use a litter box. Isn't that cute? Precious. Shouldn't he have a cage or something? Would you keep a kitten in a cage? Of course not. What was I thinking? And these are his mealworms. He eats worms? Don't judge. Now remember, don't neglect him. He needs lots of love and attention. Who doesn't? Speaking of, you should come by and visit us tonight. 
Sorry, I got plans. Senor Lizardo, you have eaten all the heads of our compadres, yet we are not afraid. Really, Leon? It's too much to ask for you to pick up after yourself once in a while. You're not a baby anymore, you know. Um, okay. Why do you keep all these toys around? You don't still play with them, do you? I still play with some of them. Mm. Oh, a science experiment. I'm testing the effects of UV light on kitty litter. What's that smell? Nothing. Pumpkin, are you wetting the bed again? No. Now, sweetie, there is nothing to be ashamed of. Remember what Dr. Gordon said? Don't ever blame yourself. It's not your fault. Mom, I worked very hard to overcome that problem, and I don't appreciate you bringing it up in present company. Uh, Aunt Claire? Leon's obviously not comfortable discussing this in front of me. So, uh, I'm sure he'll come to you when he's ready to talk about it, yeah? But remember, Pumpkin, don't be embarrassed by this. There is nothing wrong with you. Tucker, you know I didn't really wait. I know, but look, either we let your mom go on thinking you're a bedwetter, or admit we're harboring a fugitive. Now, you don't want to give the iguana back, do you? At least he peed on your shirt. What are you doing? That's a worm. Don't judge. You can't feed one pet to another. What kind of heartless monster are you? They've got names. There's Andy, Eileen, Jack, and Donnie here is my favorite. They're not pets. They're mealworms. That means their sole purpose in life is to be someone's meal. They can't help it if some dork gave their species a messed up name. I think you're losing sight of the overall goal here. Okay. If that beastie doesn't eat those beasties, he's gonna get malnourished and die, robbing me of precious points with McKenna. You understand? Okay, it's the circle of life. Who are we to interfere? Senor Lazardo will just have to accept his new vegetarian lifestyle. I'll be right back. Do you believe this? Leon has conquered this before, and with our help and support, he will conquer it again. As we all know, bedwetting can be caused by a number of different reasons. Who am I kidding? My baby is regressing, and it's all my fault. Jeannie was right. I never said that. I just said he might not be normal. But I took it back. Remember, I took it back. Leon's completely normal. This is very common. Five to seven million people in the United States alone. Don't you quote statistics at me. Leon is not a statistic. He's... <clears throat> coming down the stairs. <gasps> you see? He can't even look at me. He knows it's my fault. Claire, nobody thinks this is your fault. Oh, Jeannie, just admit it. You have been dying to say, I told you so. I have not. Ladies, please. This is not about either one of you. This is about Leon. Let me go have a talk with the lad and see if I can't make him feel a little better. Hey there, champ. Since when are you into salads? Um, since I started wetting the bed. Ah, a reptile. It all makes perfect sense now. It does? Well, no, not really. The iguana peed on a shirt, and I took the wrap. See? Now it makes sense. Uh, please don't tell Mom. You know how she feels about pets, especially scaly ones. She'll freak out. Besides, McKenna's taking it back tomorrow. Uh, and when your mother sees that you stopped wetting your bed, we can let her think that she helped you conquer it. Yeah, okay. Your secret's safe with me. But if you get caught, I never knew about it. No need to worry. Tucker and I are keeping them hidden at all times. There it goes, my last shred of dignity. I love my new foster daddy. Much better than my biological father, who beats me and calls me rude names. And your foster daddy loves you, too. Don't you, Tucker? Oh, yeah, like he was my own son. Well, go on, kiss your baby. Like hell I will. 
I think he wants me to put him down now. Tucker, you're hurting his feelings. I thought you loved him. Good thing I don't have any dignity left. You should come over and visit us, Mommy. <laughs> we miss you. OK, I'll come visit for a while. Dignity's overrated. Love is all that matters. Now, the question is... We <laughs> How's it going? We're putting rubber sheets on Leon's bed. And don't you dare make a joke about it. I would never joke about something... We also feel it's important that you read this book so that you know what to say and what not to say around Leon. Maybe Leon should sleep on the bottom bunk for the time being, you know, in case anything might seep through. <clears throat> no! That's a terrible idea. It says here that what Leon needs is stability. His fragile psyche won't do well with change. It'll probably just make things worse. How do you know that? I've read this one already. It's a really good book. I don't remember reading anything about that. Okay. Here's the thing. This is all my fault. What? I'm the change in Leon's life that's causing the bedwetting. Think about it. He has his own room, his own space for 15 years. Then I move in, and suddenly all that's gone. Tucker, this is not your fault. Actually, the kid has a point. Yes, I do. And I'm racked with guilt about it. The only thing that will make me feel better is if you guys let me do my part and change the sheets myself. Be my guest. What? Oh. No! Oh. You're the bedwetter. And you let my Leon take the blame. Uh, yeah. I'm the bedwetter. You happy now? I admit it. I wet the bed. Tucker, it's okay. You could have told me. Well, I'm telling you now. I pee while I sleep. And frankly, I'd rather not talk about it right now. So if you'll excuse me, I'll come downstairs when I'm ready to discuss it further. I should go too. No, McKenna, you can stay. This isn't what... I I'm not good at situations like this. I'll see you tomorrow. Hal's broken my ass. All those things Tucker said about Leon, he was really talking about himself. I mean, all his life he's had his own room, his own space, up until now. Don't blame yourself. I wasn't. I'm sure that you pushing Tucker to grow up too quickly has nothing to do with this. I don't do that. Do I do that? Of course not, sweetie. Stop beating yourself up. I know exactly how to handle this. You just leave everything to me. Tucker! What? Wake up, Leon. Oh, Claire. But I don't have to go. Shh. You'll wake the whole house. Try running the water. That always helps Leon. Lizard. <sighs> Leon? Sure slept in today. Yeah, I had a busy night. Your mom dragged me to the bathroom four times. Oh, guess that explains why she's still asleep. So, uh, where's the lizard? In the closet. No, not in the closet. You left the bedroom door open. He could be anywhere in the house. Oh, well, he'll turn up soon. Leon, he can't just turn up. What if he just turns up in front of the wrong person? I'll search the upstairs, you search down here. Oh, and turn the thermostat way up. If the little guy gets too cold, he could get sick or die. 
What? You love him. Leon, upstairs! What you searching for, Chief? You know when you're hungry for something, but you're not sure what for? And you figure you'll know what it is when you see it. Like a iguana, for instance. Mm. How did you know? I'll go search out in the garage. Lots of places out there for a reptile to hide. Oh, remember, you get caught. I knew nothing. He's not up there. You searched the entire upstairs? Yeah, except for my mom's room. She's still asleep. Tucker had another accident. Uh, we came in for clean sheets. So you were gonna steal mine out from under me? I told you, Tucker, her sheets are way too big for your bunk. Think next time. Right. My mistake. Sorry, Aunt Claire. Did someone crank up the heat? No. You're probably just having hot flashes. Perfectly normal at your age. Leon, we should go check the door. He told me he'd tell me when he was ready to talk about it, but what if he's too embarrassed to bring it up? I mean, maybe I should go talk to him. I can't help thinking this is somehow my fault. What do you think I should do? Well, the most important thing is never let him know you discussed it with me. It just might kill him. Right. Good thinking. Oh, what are you girls talking about? Tucker had an accident. I did not. Nobody's gonna believe you did that on purpose. Where's Sweet Jay? Who? The iguana. What iguana? We call him Senor Lazardo. What iguana? The iguana that's going home today. The iguana that Aunt Claire need never know about. The iguana that peed in my bed and let me take the rap. Did the iguana do that? Leon did that. Uh, but Senor Lazardo's not going home today. During my search of the upstairs, I noticed that someone left the window open all night. He's probably halfway to Mexico by now. You lost my baby? Oh, well, let's not jump to any conclusions here. Well, do something. Search the neighborhood. Call the cops. Waste of time. There's no way he survived the night. He either froze to death or was eaten by something bigger. You don't sound too broken up about it. It's the circle of life. Admit it. You're hiding, sweet Jay. All right, I wanted to keep him. Can you blame me? From the moment I looked into his quiet, gentle eyes and watched him stand perfectly still for an entire half hour, I realized that we had a connection that goes beyond those foolish labels such as reptile and mammal. He knows me, and I know him. He's like my own free Willy, only without the free part. And his name's Senior Lazardo, not Willy. But other than I that... I am touched by your interspecial bond. Really, I am. And you can visit him anytime you want, but he's mine and Seth's, Leon. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Well, actually, it was just a ceremonial attempt at politeness. I mean, you don't have to apologize because you can't have him. I'm not telling you where he is. Stupid iguana. I've got something that's gonna cheer you up. Doubt it. You don't understand what it's like to have loved and lost. Well, this might help ease the pain. Donnie! Yeah. I convinced your mom to let you keep him as a pet. I, I hardly even recognize him. He's gotten so big. Yeah. And soon, he'll turn into a bug. Cool. Senor Donnie is fierce. Thanks, Tucker. Yeah, no problem. What do you think you're doing? No liquids after 6 p.m. Aunt Claire, I already told you. 
The iguana with the bed, not me. Uh-huh. I'll see you at 11, 1, 3, and 5. Sweet dreams. That's it. Tomorrow, I start looking for my own place.